Hello there, Mr. Silas here. So uh, today I'll tell you about that one time my Italian was actually useful. So this was a long time ago. I, be I believe it was around four or five years ago. So I used to know this guy. Basically, he worked for a company. Uh, well, he was the company actually. And uh, he hired people from time to time to work with him, uh, people who speak languages. Like uh, he had called me many times for English translations or English interpretations. Uh, I also did a couple German ones. So this guy, basically, he was very, um, sh let's say shady. He always undercut me. Like I, and, and I think he undercut every person who worked for him. Uh, so basically, this is, this is a guy that gets people that want uh, language services. So they call him. Right, and the, he says, "Ah, oh, yeah, I've got a guy who can help you with English. I, I, I have a, another guy who, who can help you with French or uh, German or uh, Italian." Right, but he always got a big cut of the money. So let's say um, the company would pay a thousand pesos, he would get five hundred, maybe six hundred even, and you would get the rest. So I didn't know that. Obviously, I was very young. I had no idea. So. I just took it, you know, it's like, oh, well, it's extra money, it's extra, uh, or, you know, it's extra income that I need. So I just took every job that he threw my way. So there was, there's a really funny story with German, but today it's Italian part. I, I think he knew, he knew that I spoke Italian. So he called me once and he was like, hey, I got a, a job for Italian uh, and I heard you speak the language. Do you have any certifications or anything? And I was like, no, I don't have any of them. So I felt, oh. I don't have any any, any any actual qualifications for this part. So what can I do? What could I actually tell him, right? Uh, I said, no, I don't have any qualifications, but my, 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 my level is quite good. So I could probably help you with whatever, whatever it is like that you need. So we talked a little and he told me that uh, basically he required a person. Uh, he needed a person to go to like, uh, I have forgotten if it was a company. I, it was a very small building. But it was part of a bigger company. Anyway, they made they made I think like uh, uh, tools for car manufacturers. I believe I can't remember exactly. But anyway, this guy was was uh, he he was flying from Italy. He was he was going to arrive in uh, in Mexico in Puebla. Actually, this whole thing happened in Puebla. By the way, um, he was going to arrive, and they needed a Italian translator. So. I thought it was pretty weird because most Italians I knew, they could either speak uh, English or Spanish, or at least they could understand Spanish fairly well. So this was a mystery to me. I was like, hmm, why would they hire like an Italian translator or, or interpreter, right? But hey, the payment was very good. So I said, you know what? Sure, I'll do it, whatever. Just throw it my way. I'll do it. So I talked to this guy and uh, I told him, sure, I'm your man for the job. Now, it's really important to say that I had actually never spoke Italian to another person that wasn't my teacher or my classmates before. I, well, oh, well I'm, I'm lying. I, when I went to Italy in 2013, I did talk to some Italians, but like, Ciao, come stai? Bene, grazie. Tu bene, bene, grazie, grazie. Ah, io mangio la pizza, you know? <laughs> it was just like very basic stuff. And this was something very, very uh, specific. So I was very, very afraid. Oh, paura. So anyway, uh, he says, right, okay, you're hired. You're the man for the job. You're going tomorrow. And I was like, oh, crap. Because uh, usually for uh, interpreters or translators, you, you get some sort of time. You know, they tell you, oh, uh, so this thing will be in three or four days, right? And you have time to prepare. For instance, you, you, you have time to actually... Um, like get some sort of, uh, you know, words that you might need, or I, I, I always create a, a, an Excel spreadsheet where I actually write words that I might need or might use in the future for that specific job. There was the, this one time I worked with a, with a car company and they made basically the, the, the whole, you know, all the things that you'd require to actually make the cars, the parts of the car for safety, you know, the safety car parts basically. So I worked for them. And it was uh, it was a nice, nice experience, and I mean, obviously, I I I I could barely tell a car from one another. I I mean, I, I can tell they have four wheels and and uh, an engine. That's and a windshield probably. And that's about it. So. 
that was the problem with in this case as well. I, I had no idea. So for that time, I prepared like you know like a whole um, index of words, uh, the vocabulary that I might, that I might use and what's necessary or useful. And actually, while I was on the, on, on the job, I actually like added to it, and that you know and that created a whole new vocabulary for me. That was very helpful, but that took me like a couple days. Uh, because for that one job, they gave me like one or two weeks to prepare. For this one, it was just, you're going tomorrow. So I was like, okay, right? So I'm going tomorrow, fine. Let's do it. Now let's see what can I do? What's the, what could I do? So I just said, right, I'll do it. I'm your man. Let's, let's do it. Let's bring it. Bring it on. I remember I dressed very properly, like almost with a suit, you know, almost a suit. And when they saw me, they were like, are you the translator? And I'm like, well, I'm more of an interpreter, but yes, that's that, that's me, right? And they were like, basically, they made fun of me like, well, you don't have to dress like that because this is like a basically a workshop, so don't worry about it. So they, they told me that this guy was coming from Italy. He was going to be here for a couple of days or something. Like I think he he was going to sleep with some with a family in Puller or something. And they they didn't speak Italian either, but they spoke English and they could speak Spanish with him. I can't remember exactly all the details, but it was something like that. Anyway, that's not very important. Uh, I, I actually I actually spent the whole day before the whole night watching Italian videos just to get a vibe for the language, right? Um, just to get an idea. So when the guy actually arrived. Uh, I talked to him. I talked to him for, for a little. Like, hey, ciao, come stai? Yo sono Alberto. E tu? You know, like all the all the typical stuff. We just, you know, we took. We had a very, 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 very short talk. And after like uh, fifteen or ten minutes of introductions, he told me in perfect Spanish, by the way. Oh, Alberto, I, I appreciate you you trying to talk to me in, in Italian, but I came here to practice my Spanish because I'm 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 a B two in Spanish. So I would like to practice with everyone here in the company. So I was like, wait, so you, you, you speak Spanish then? He was like, si, hablo español. And I was, and then we talked in Spanish for like another 10 minutes. His Spanish was perfect, like amazing actually. So then I was like, ah, so you don't need me anymore. So I went to the office and I told him, uh, so this guy speaks Spanish. What should I do? <laughs> and they just told me, oh, oh, well, in that case, just hang around for 30 minutes. I stayed, I stayed there for 30 minutes. And after 30 minutes, they told me, um, right, Alberto, so, uh, yeah, we don't need you anymore. So let's do this. We'll give you the payment for the rest of the week. And uh, you can go now. <laughs> so that was the easiest money ever in my life. Hope you like the story. Saludos a todos, a los autodidactas y futuros polyglotas. Class dismissed. Que bel.